You really could call this video the intersection of Zaza Ali and Red Pill, believe it or not. Although when I first did my first draft of this video, I didn't mention Red Pill because it slipped my mind. But this video is really truly an intersection of two, two seemingly different people that I listen to who both have some wisdom to share on this one particular topic. The topic of attacking a man who's bigger and stronger than you when you're a woman. Let's take a look. Although the clip I'm going to use is from Zaza Ali talking about the Ray Rice situation. And the reason why I bring this up is because I thought it was an excellent example of what happens when you don't have the Taekwondo tenet of courtesy in your relationship. And also when you behave in a way that is definitely not for judo's mutual welfare and benefit. So take, let's take a look at that. I wrote about this in the Plagues of Dysfunction book, in my Plagues of Dysfunction book, right? So remember Ray Rice and Janae Rice, right? The, 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 the punch seen and heard around the world where he knocks her out in the elevator, drags her body out of the elevator, right? So, you know, the world went crazy and rightfully so, because it's one of the most savage and sick things that I ever seen in my life. Okay, so period on that, because I don't want people to um, start writing me and saying, you know, I was, I'm taking up for abusers. No, that's not it. What I'm saying is, right before Ray Rice knocked that sister out in that elevator, she spit in his face. 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 That is one of the most disgusting and disparaging and degrading things you can do to another human being. Yes, they were both drunk. Yes, they probably have a history of fighting. But she spit in his face. Doesn't excuse or validate the fact that he punched her. It doesn't warrant any of that. He was way out of line. This dude's a football player. But she spit in his face. I'm saying all of this to say, I've known women growing up. I know women today who walk into relationships with men who are already emotionally a little unstable, not really good at expressing their feelings or communicating or, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of black men, not really healthy in a whole well-rounded way. Could these men believe that if anybody ever does anything to you that you find offensive, you handle it like this? He's supposed to bust them in their face, you know what I'm saying? You walk into a relationship with a man like that and you pick at him and you irritate him, him and you play with his mind and you play games with him and you use sex or you use your language and your words and you d degrade him and disrespect him and all of a sudden next thing you know the lid is blowing off the roof a woman can speak to the king in a man or she can speak to the nigga in him so there you have it if you pick at a guy pick on a guy if you're a woman and even though a lot of men, we've had it drummed into our head, never hit a girl, never hit a girl, never hit a woman, never hit a woman. You're bigger, you're stronger, you're faster. You're the $6 million man compared to her. Better, stronger, faster. Don't hit her. But everybody has their breaking point, And if you're going to be discourteous and disrespectful, you're probably going to get hit. It's not right. It's not fair. But it is what it is. And um, the martial arts can't protect you from your own bad decisions. So if you want to go around picking at people who you know are bigger and stronger than you, if you want Car Blanche to do that, take a martial arts class. So at least when they start swinging at you, maybe you might know enough about redirection, blending, Instead of, you're not going to be able to get away with brute force. Maybe know enough about redirection, blending, and evading so that they won't punch you in the face and, and knock your teeth out or hit you so hard they can throw you over your shoulder, or throw you over their shoulder like a sack of potatoes. Now, again, as Ali said this in her video, 
I don't condone abusers. I don't condone abusive behavior. So let's not condone abusive behavior from men or from women, from anyone. Because I tell you, when you're a big black man like I am, if you do something like that to someone, if I spit in another big black man's face, he's going to punch me in the face. He's supposed to bust them in their face, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this video with people who like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. And remember, if you spit in somebody's face, <laughs> peace.